Good, beautiful morning, everyone. We've done some homeschooling already this morning Yay! and more book work and stuff. And Teddy wanted to do a video for you guys of games that he recommends for kids his age or actually anybody because we love these games even though we're adults. So you guys know what to do. Grab yourselves. Keep your hands on me this book at all times. Let's go play the games. Okay. Side note, don't mind our house. If you follow us at all, you know pretty soon we're going to be moving again and moving to Texas, leaving Florida, moving to Texas. Yeah. So this past yeah, weekend... I like Texas. I know you're excited about it. This past weekend we did start packing. So don't mind the chaos around us. But we thought while we're... Tomorrow. Packing would be a good time to go over games. Now, these are in no specific order of favoritism or anything like that. We're just going to pull out games randomly. We might get Mark to help us with some later. Might film this over the next couple of days. We're just kind of rolling with it. It was an idea Teddy had that he wanted to present. Because Teddy does think games make great family fun as well as education and all that. So the first one he chose is Candyland. And there's obviously the regular Candyland and all of that. We happen to have the Disney theme park edition. Oh, I should know. My, my tablecloth is actually a blanket, yes. Um, this folding table that we have is quite banged up in stuff and just does need a cover just to protect things. Plus, it's prettier. So I just threw on this Marvel blanket just for now. But we have the Disney theme park edition of Candyland. So... What do you like about this particular version of Candyland? The top. The top winning? <laughs> yeah. Do you like, like, the, the, the snacks that are along the path? Yeah. Like it has Dole Whip, Mickey Bar, Mickey Pretzel, all that stuff. So we're going to start playing right. and uh, show you. So it's your typical, you flip cards and you move to that color square. The tokens are like certain things from the parks. Like Teddy's going to be a teacup. I'm going to be the train. They have like pirates and the carousel is your other pieces. The paths. Teddy also wanted me to point out the paths. Like this one is to infinity and beyond. And then, oh, that one sends you back. Going back for autographs. This one is, oh, this way to the three o'clock parade. Oh, what's this one over here too? Oh, don't be late. Don't be late. And it has the different lands. Adventure land, tomorrow land. As you can see, oh, there's like small world, the castle fantasy land. All right. Teddy's drawing first. What do you have? Whoops, he drew two accidentally. Lay it down in the discard. <gasps> you have a mini bow cookie. Where is that? Do you see it? Hmm. Oh my, yes, you're correct. So you get to scoot way up there. Look. Well, that was quite a good card to draw first. I drew a double blue, which means you go to the second blue you see. Uh -huh. What do you have now? Double purple. Okay, put it in the discard pile. Yeah, and one, two. Good job, Teddy. Good job. He drew the Mickey apple. And for some reason, I was thinking that was way back and he was going to have to go back. But he was lucky. It was actually in front of him. So that worked out well. <laughs> and Teddy just drew double orange, which is going to take him into the end zone for the win. Yay! One, two, Yay! Off the teacup goes. You if you're curious, this is appropriate for two to four players, ages three and up. We have had this around for a while, and he has been enjoying it. Uh, just for reference, if you're new to our channel, Teddy is a little over five and a half years old. 
on his way to six, and he has been enjoying this for a couple years now. So, this is a video game. Yes, this is a nice park board game. Oh, look, there's a tiny gold there. The, the tiny gold is excluded on the top yes, of the box. The gold, gold thing is saying that it won uh, Creative yeah. Child yeah. Magazine Game of the Year Award in 2011. Okay, let's. We will tell you that later. Okay, I hit the stop button. I need help. I'll get it. Teddy's really getting into wanting to film lately. So I think after we get relocated, we're going to get some other filming gear and equipment. So there'll be yeah. stuff kind of like GoPros, but I have another one like a GoPro that I'm eyeing up that he can hold on to easier than my phone. So what? look for that to come, huh? Better equipment for you to film? Yeah. However, I think it's super cute that he wants to learn to film so much. So even if clips aren't beautiful, I'm choosing to leave him in because it's cute and it's how you learn. And it will be awesome when he looks back later on down the road to see how his filming skills improve. Mm -hmm. What he's showing you is his next pick to show everybody is a game we love playing a lot called Junior Ranger Land National Park Board Game. And I'll get it out in a minute, but I wanted to also kind of show you the outside of the box because I did want to show you like he was showing you of the award there. And this is good ages four and up, two to four players. We got this last winter and it's been a favorite of his for a little over a year now. One of the coolest aspects I like is when like you're seeing the directions of the game and it gives the little junior ranger pledge in here where it says, I, and then the winner's name, am proud to be a National Park Service Junior Ranger. I promise to appreciate, respect, and protect all national parks. I also promise to continue learning about the landscape, plants, animals, and history of these special places. I will share what I learn with my friends and family. And that's like the same pledge you take when you do the Junior Ranger program around the park. Here is what the game board looks like. You start up here in Acadia National Park. And we love this because Mark actually grew up on the island in Maine where most of Acadia National Park is located. And this lighthouse is Bass Harbor Head in Acadia National Park, which Mark's dad is a, you know, lifer lobster fisherman, been lobster fishing all of his adult life. And he fishes right out in the harbor, lobsters right out in the harbor, where this lighthouse is. This is, lighthouse is actually only a few miles down the road from where Mark grew up. So that's really special. And of course, in our years of either living, working, NPS, or even when we were just fans and visiting parks before that, we've kind of lived in a few of these. <laughs> Yosemite was the very first park of Mark's NPS career. He's lived and worked Grand Canyon. He's worked Arches. We both worked together at Yellowstone. Actually, I volunteered with him. When he was at Yosemite, I was a volunteer. When he was at Yellowstone, I actually was an employee. I worked with him on the crew at Yellowstone. And uh, we've, we've uh, visited Rocky. Teddy, Big Bend, that's where we're moving to. That is our next park unit we will be experiencing in our family. What's Big Bend? Right down here, see it? Yeah. <laughs> and of course, you end the game in Everglades, which is our current park yeah, home. We We've been to Great Smoky Mountains a lot. We've been in Shenandoah a lot. Uh, a few here we haven't visited, but anyway, I digress. So we, we have fun, fun with this a lot. How you play the game is you like roll the die and you have a token. And I, I got to look because I forget like the certain, I think the black means you move to a national park. And when you land on other spaces that have these binoculars, you pull one of these cards and you read it. And as you can see, there's a lot of education to be learned. And then you kind of move around the board. And we'll take you through it. I just wanted to give you a little bit of a layout first while I was waiting for my iced coffee to brew. 
Teddy has chosen red, his favorite color. I've chosen purple, my favorite color. Hi. Teddy's going to go first because hey, he's Mama. the youngest. Hi, Teddy. Hey, we're up in Maine at Acadia. Whoa. See if we can find our way to Florida, to Everglades, via all the rest of the United States. Huh? Let's roll the dot together. Okay, roll the dot. You go first. All right, so Teddy rolled a green, so he will move his token Daddy, come back to here. a green. And just hanging out. That's not an umbrella, so you don't draw a card. So he's just hanging out. We've taken a couple of turns, and I just landed on an umbrella spot, which means you're having a rain day, and so you're kind of just hanging out and losing a turn is what happens on a rain day. We've been finally, we finally have landed on an explore thing. Can you put it on your space, please, honey? We've been just either rain day. I've had two rain delays, and Teddy's just been landing on, like, non-explore. So he rolled black. When you roll black, you go to the next black space, which does also happen to be a national park space. It also happens to be an explorer I card. So I Teddy is drawing know. his explorer card, which is how you keep points at the end because you want to get as many explorer cards as possible. We're going to read that explorer card. He's trying to show Lucy right now. And then afterwards, when you get a black spot, you also get to roll again and take another turn. We are working on Teddy's reading. So with some of these, I'm going to try to have him help me. Can you read what it says? No. Yes, you can. You just did. You did not talk up. You did not the twilight. That's right. I don't know if you can hear him, folks. For some reason, when I film him, he gets shy, even though normally he's really loud. He did read it. Did not feed the wildlife. Feeding wildlife can hurt you and, and, animals. and the animals. Right. What else does it say? Good job. Good job. Good job. So you can collect that in your collection and then you can roll to go again. I just landed on Grand Canyon as well. My little card is about the California condor. I just saw a California California condor. The wings of the condor have a white leading edge and can span nine and a half feet. Reintroduced to the wild near Grand Canyon National Park and Zion National Park. Since I was on a national park, I got to go again and I landed black again. So I came up here to Yellowstone, drew my card, prickly pear cactus, also called a paddle cactus. It is made of flat, round paddle sections. Many useful medicines are made from this cactus plant, and I love its water. You can buy like boxed prickly pear cactus water like you can coconut water and all that. Oh my gosh, it's delicious. So how you actually win is um, whoever got the most cards, and we actually tied. I have five, Teddy has five. But what I thought was cute, his last card he drew was Cypress, which is here in Everglades. So that was fun. Would you recommend this to other kids yeah. your age? I tied. We tied. So there was both winners. <laughs> Evidently, when you win board games, you fly away off to Neverland, no matter what the game is. <laughs> Moving up a little bit in difficulty, he's choosing Scrabble Jr. next. He did just get this for Christmas. Santa brought this to him. So this is moving up in difficulty a little bit. This is rated for ages five and up. He's doing okay with it. Um, sometimes we don't really get very far into it, but that's how you learn. We just kind of start it. We try to teach patients, try to teach doing it the right way. And there is a uh, different levels and I'll show you that when I open it up so there's a way you can do it a very starter level and then there's ways once he gets used to that that we can build into it I wanted to show you a little bit of what I was talking about so they have level one for beginner where the board has the words all on it and you're just basically trying to take letters you have and find on the board where they are so you can earn points and that's what our board is looking like right now. Actually, I'll get up and show you because I'm kind of looking from the other side. So 
This is how the board will look for level one. And this is where he is right now, what we're working with on him. And then as he gets a little bit more advanced, you can indeed flip the board to look more like what a traditional Scrabble board looks like where you're creating your own words. So I do love that feature about this Scrabble Junior, that it is a way to start slow, build your skills like we teach him, because we teach him that about everything in life, to very start slow, as slow as you need to, and build your skills. It takes a while to set up, and of course we're we have red underneath all the red tiles, but basically what it is saying to do here on the uh, beginning one is you pick a character, which Teddy chose red, I chose the little blue DJ word guy, and then we want to get all the tiles face down, so then we're each gonna choose seven tiles, and then we can have them face up in front of us, and then what you are doing, I'm trying to get this so it's not so blurry, is you can take each turn and on your turn, you take two of your letter tiles and match them to any letter you find on the board. If you complete a word, you get one point, which means then when you get a point, you move your token from start up one point on the board around this as you see, moving up around. If you complete a word that is the same color as your token, so in other words, if Teddy were to complete tomato, because it's red and he's the red character, then he would get two points and he could move two spaces up the board. And there you go. And sometimes you can complete two words with one letter, which means you would score for both. So that's kind of how you play this beginner level. I can see Teddy dancing around. So I'm like, it's okay, we can pause while you go use the bathroom. So he did great. He counted out his seven tiles. So now while he's using the toilet, I will count out mine. I counted out my seven and I'm waiting for him and he can take the first turn. So then after you lay your two, obviously like Scrabble, then you draw two more and then game goes on till everything is done. Teddy had an R and an E and he did real good. So this is improvement from when we were playing before. And he's had this less than two months. So that's good. There's already improvement that he chose to put them within the same word so that he could try to close out the word faster. So good job, Teddy. Now you can take two more tiles, honey, to add to your line. And the biggest key of games with kids is patience. And yeah, sometimes they just got to get up and get some wiggles out. And that helps them refocus. Need a drink while you're at it? But he's doing quite well. He's really worked very hard on a lot so far. Teddy just closed out C. He added the E in. So then, Teddy, you want to go ahead and show them? So when you close out a word, you get one point, so you get to move your token one spot. Yeah, good job, Teddy, good job. And this is very typical. We've gotten about this far. And of course, as you saw, we did play two other games before this, plus we had already done, oh, let's see what time it is, almost 11.30. So yeah, we did about two, two and a half hours of homeschooling before we did games and, and stuff, so. This is, I'm not sneezing at this whatsoever. This was very good for him to stay focused this long. And it, it's a learning process. And that's what you do. Is So when he says he's done, I don't argue it. I say, no big deal, but you did great. And we'll pack it up. But this gives you the idea. And this is good for his age range to just kind of start getting used to it, getting used to focusing. And it's all about, you know, finding the letters and matching them up. And he did great. We've decided, I think we're going to break the game suggestions into several parts. So that will be the end of part one. I've been spending this afternoon after lunch going through his current school box. And we've been looking over some stuff. And anyway, that's going to do it for part one. But stay tuned. We will add to this at a future date. And if you have some game suggestions, 
that are family favorites or favorites with little ones in your life, please comment below. Give us some uh, additional game suggestions. When we get all settled in in Texas in our new home, we will be adding to our game stash. So always love having recommendations from others. Peace and love, gang. Keep learning, no matter how old you are. Keep learning, keep learning through play. Peace and love, and we will see you on that next video.